What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix a high ping and packet loss by playing Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This should be quite an easy tutorial, everything you need will be listed in the description below. First let's take a look at your in-game settings. Open up Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Here under Game, make sure to set the max acceptable game traffic bandwidth option to 80. This will set the highest possible latency to the matchmaking server. You can reduce this option even more to around 50 in case you're using a stable ping. Below, make sure to enable your developer console. When using the command netgraph1, you'll be able to preview your frame rate and ping to the server you're playing on. This should help you figure out where network related issues are coming from. Disable this console command by using the command netgraph0. When this is done, make sure to account for any VPN service which could be running on your system, or turn off your VPN while in-game. Before making any tweaks on your system, I'd recommend to verify the CSGO and Steam server status. Everything you need will be listed in the description below. Here, you can preview the server status for each country, the server uptime, matchmaking issues and so on. The second link will allow you to preview these statistics for CSGO. In case the servers in your area seem unaffected, then the issue might be related to your own network connection, to software running on your system or to the game files. You should also test your own connection. I prefer to use speedtest.net. Make sure that you have a stable up and download speed and that your ping is not exceeding 100 milliseconds. In case it's higher than 100 milliseconds, then you will have to make a few changes to your network connection. Use an Ethernet cable if you can. Restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while and reduce the amount of devices connected to the same network. When this is done, open up your Steam library. Here, right click CSGO and select properties. On this window in the general tab, navigate to your launch options. The commands you enter into this dialog box will be applied to the game every time you launch it. These commands will make sure that your PC is communicating as efficiently and often as possible with the server. If in any case these don't help you out, then you can always remove them after. I will leave them all in the description below along with other commands I use to improve the overall performance of the game. You should also make sure that your game files are complete and up to date. In the Local Files tab, select Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will take a minute to redownload any missing or replace corrupted files. You can then close this window and open up your Task Manager by right-clicking your taskbar and selecting it. Here, navigate to your Resource Monitor, as you can see in the video. In the Network tab, open the processes with Network Activity and after a few seconds we'll see every process using your network connection. This might be your browser, running in the background, Steam, or a download bottlenecking your connection. I suggest you to only enter processes which you know won't break your operating system. Next, open up your commands prompt by searching for CMD and hitting enter. Use the command ping google.com. This command will check your latency and packet loss to Google servers. If your ping is higher than 100 milliseconds, or if you encounter any packet loss, then you should make a few changes to your connection and follow the next tweaks. Next, use the command ipconfig slash flush DNS. This will flush and reset the content of your DNS resolver cache. Using this command will in any case improve your latency issues. When this is done, you will change your DNS server address in case the error is still caused by your network connection. Use the shortcut Windows key and R and in this dialog box enter Control and hit Enter. This will open up your control center. From here, navigate to Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center and here select your connection. This will open up this window containing some general information about your connection. Navigate to Properties and lastly, double-click the Internet Protocol version 4. 
select to use the following DNS server addresses option. And as your preferred DNS server, use 8888. And as your alternate DNS server, use 8844. This will for a lot of users fix issues when playing on a server, as these are the official public DNS server addresses from Google, which are safe to use. Lastly, in case you still have network related issues, then you most likely have software running on your system which is hindering you from playing the game. To fix this, I suggest ending processes from running in your task manager of recently installed programs which can change your files or use up your available resources such as OBS, Shadowplay, CCleaner or Adobe applications to troubleshoot which program is causing the issue. In case you still have latency and lag issues, then you should verify your connection to your ISP and make sure that you're using a decent data plan. You can troubleshoot this step by switching your connection to your personal hotspot for example. If you have issues loading maps or downloading other content, then you should delete your temporary files. Search for percentage, temp, percentage and hit enter. All of these files are saved by your programs and should be deleted once in a while. Make sure to delete everything in this folder. Some files might remain, so just leave them there. In case you need more help, then make sure to follow the guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.